function. So the first question is to evaluate 3, 3 by 4 to the power of minus 3. Now if you remember the identity of a by b to the power of n is equal to a to the power n and b to the power n. So using this we have 3 to the power of 4 minus 3 is equal to 3 to the power of minus 3 and 4 to the power of minus 3, right? So now let's deal with 3 to the power of minus 3 separately. Now we know if something, you know, is raised to the power of minus 3, it becomes, it goes in the inverse, right? And similarly, for 4 to the power of minus 3, it becomes 1 by 4 to the power of minus 3. Now, what is 3 to the power of minus 3 divided by 4 to the power of minus 3? This will be 1 by 3 to the power of 3 divided by 1 by 4 to the power of 3, which essentially is 4 to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3, right? This will go to the other. And this becomes 64 by 27, and this is our first answer. So now the second question that we'll discuss is 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 3. And if you remember, this is, uh, resembles uh, the identity that we discussed with a to the power of m to the power of m which we eventually said will be equal to a to the power of mn and this will be equal to a to the power of nm right i don't think we need to use the latter part here the first part of the identity will be enough to use here so 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 this is 3 to the power of 6 which is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 right this is 9 into 9 into 9 this is 81 into 9 which is 9 9 8 are 72 729 this is the answer okay so in the third question we'll be talking about uh, the question of the screen which is 2 to the power of x minus 5 is equal to 56 now like I said, you will get questions where one side will be in prime factor and the other side will be a huge number. And I think the best way to start with that is, can we factorize this number? Answer is yes, right? And we know that 256 comes in the ladder of 2. When I say in the ladder of 2, that means when you expo exponentiate 2 to an, some kind of a number, it does come 256. Like, so let's start with 256, right? So when you factorize it with 2, you get 128. 264, 232, 216, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 2 to the power of 8 is equal to 256. And 256 is also equal to, as per the question, 2 to the power of x minus 5. So, x minus 5 is equal to 8 because two both are equal so x minus 5 should be equal to it right and x is equal to 13 and this is our answer this question is a two-parter and how we'll approach it we'll first answer the first one and then the second one and a lot of identities will be used here so like 8 by 7 8 by 27 sorry to the power of 1 by 3 right let's uh, you know first bring 8 and 27 into the lowest terms. So by lowest term, I mean let's just you know bring them in their factors. So 8 is 2 to the power of 3 and 27 is 3 to the power of 3. It's always helpful to know basic cubes and basic squares that just you know speeds up your solving uh, method and it just helps you to you know tackle questions more fast and you can do more questions in a limited amount of time which gives you time for more complicated questions uh, if you're sitting in an exam or it gives you you know more, more breathing space to say to you know just get 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 done, get done the questions that you don't really need to calculate every time you just need to solve something right so i know that two cube is eight so whenever i see an eight i'll just substitute with, with a two cube three cube is 27 so i'll substitute with a three cube but if you but if you do factorize it you will eventually see that these are the answers so you can either do it every time or you can do it a couple of times while you practice and then just remember it that just you know helps you solving things fast so two to the power of three and 3 to the power of 3 as per our, our, our identity uh, but now it's to a greater to the power of 1 by 3 so again applying an identity 2 to the power of 3 1 by 3 3 to the power of 3 
to the power of 1 by 3. We get 2, 3 and 3 cancel, 2 to the power of 1, 3, 3 by 3 cancel, 3 to the power of 1, 2 by 3. And this is our answer. So this question might look a bit complicated, a bit daunting perhaps, because it has a couple of variables. One is squared, one is cubed, and then we are you know multiplying it with the with sorry not multiplying and uh, then we are exponentiating it with a third power as well. But if you break it down into smaller parts using the identities, it becomes a very simple and a very easy to to uh, you know work with question. So like we have minus two a square. So we know denom numerator can be exponentiated with the power and denominator can be exponentiated to the same power. Now in the numerator as well, I can, you know, since it's multiplied, I can also split it, but exponential power will remain the same, right? So it will be minus two to the power of three into a square to the power of three, and the denominator will remain the same, b cubed to the power of three. Now, minus two to the power of three will become minus two into minus two into minus two, and a square to the power of 3 will become a to the power of 6. a to the power of m to the n is equal to a to the power m into n, right? And then in the bottom, again, b to the power of m to the power of n becomes b to the power of mn. mn here is 9. So minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2, minus sign will remain. It will be minus 8 into a to the power of 6 by b to the power of 9. So minus 8, a to the power of 6 to the power of 9 is the final answer. This question, this might also seem, you know, a bit complicated that there are multiple, you know, very high powers of 2 and we are subtracting a high power of 2 from a high power of 2. But if you just start solving, you will see that this is only a one or two step question at most. First time you will take two steps, but the next time you encounter this, this kind of a question, you will only take one step, I believe, right? And just see it. So like a to the power m into a to the power n. I will just write the identity so that we remember it is equal to a to the power of m plus n, right? So the first one, 2 to the power of 55 into 2 to the power of 60 is equal to 2 to the power 60 plus 55, which is equal to 2 to the power of 115, right? And 2 to the power of 97 into 2 to the power of 18 is equal to using the same identity, right? It's 97 plus 18 which is 97 plus 18 is also 115. Now this is 2, this is equation number 1. I need to do as per the question 1 minus 2, right? So my 1 is 2 to the power of 115, my 2 is 2 to the power of 115. Oh, they're exactly the same, right? So when you subtract a minus a, you get a 0. So 2 to the power of 115, whatever the value may be, you don't need to calculate it. 2 to the power of 115 2 to the power of 115 minus 2 to the power of 115 is equal to 0 and this is our answer.